Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So here with us we have the Yagi antennas which can be mounted on our RC remote and boost the RC signal. So here Yagi antennas claim that uh, with these uh, antennas uh, we can achieve a greater distance or higher uh, range of distance with our drone. Well, in this video, firstly we will be flying our drone that is DJI Mini 2 without any Yagi antennas and test out what range of distance we can cover. So later on we will quickly mount these Yagi antennas on our RC remote and test out the range that we can cover with our drone. So with this we can get a confirmation or clarification whether it's worth purchasing these Yagi antennas which are costing around 900 rupees in the market. So without wasting much of the time let's quickly get into the video guys. So guys currently we are running on the latest firmware that is 1.04. You can see all the versions of my drone that I am using here. Later going ahead we will be testing 5.8 GHz of transmission frequency so let's manually set it to 5.8 GHz now without wasting much of the time let's quickly take off our drone the home point has been updated please check it on the map so here our max altitude has been set to 500 meters with the help of DH companion application so in this video we will be raising our drone around 100 meters so keeping the altitude constant around 100 meters we will try to reach out the max distance that we can cover without yagi antenna as you can see on the screen we are currently flying our drone without any yagi antennas well most of you guys know with the current rc remote which is provided with the dji mini 2 can be reached up to 10 kilometers but guys in india we cannot reach up to 10 kilometers so there is a big play for fcc and ce signal in india so with the current signal and the location, I'm expecting to reach 2.5 kilometers on one side. Guys, with your location, you might reach up to 4 kilometers, 3.5 kilometers or less than a kilometer. So it all depends on the interference of the signal that you have in the current location. Guys, keep a close eye on this RC signal on the top right corner of our screen. So here, as you can see, as we have reached 1400 meters, the signal turned to orange and once we crossed 1700 the signal was almost weak and our drone got disconnected so guys with this we got a confirmation that without yagi antennas at this location our drone can fly up to 1766 meters at 5.8 gigahertz of transmission go home so as you can see on the screen guys my rc got disconnected with my drone and i was unable to control my drone in this case drone automatically returned to home as i, I had set, set my safety settings whenever the signal is lost i had set it to return to home so make sure you are setting it to return to home when you are flying at a la longer distance so guys now our drone is returning to home and we got the confirmation that our drone can fly at 1766 meters so now let's quickly mount the yagi antennas on our rc remote and see what difference we can observe in the distance coverage here the phone clip of the rc where we mount the phone works as an antenna of the rc so the signal transmission and receiving is done through this antenna in the box we get two yagi antennas which needs to be mounted on the RC antenna that is phone clip. So these Yagi antennas claim that after mounting it on our RC we get 2 kilometers of better transmission coverage. So let's quickly fly our drone and test out whether we get any better performance when compared to the without Yagi antennas. So now we have attached the Yagi antennas and we need to set our transmission to 5.8 gigahertz manually. And the same firmware same version everything we are using the same thing so now let's quickly set our auto rth to a 60 meters and let's fly our drone so here also with yagi antenna we have used the dh companion to set our max altitude to 500 meters and uh, the altitude that we will be flying around will be 100 meters constantly and we will be increasing our distance so these Yagi antennas are compatible with remote controller for DJI Mavic Air 2, Mavic Air 2S and Mavic Mini 2. So they work on 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz. So these Yagi antennas claim that 
uh, with these antennas we can extend the control distance up to 2.5 kilometers on 5.8 gigahertz allowing you to stream 4k video on less congested 5.8 gigahertz frequency so guys now you can see that we have crossed 1700 meters and our rc signal has turned to orange so guys with these yagi antennas the max distance that we covered is 2017 meters so there is a li very little difference when it comes to flying our drone without yagi antennas and with yagi antennas so guys without yagi antenna we reach 1750 meters and with yagi antenna we reach 2017 meters so there is a very slight difference of 300 meters so guys you tell me in the comment section would you like to buy these yagi antennas and spend your 900 rupees to achieve 300 meters more when compared to non yagi antennas transmission so that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked this video and found this video informative if you guys found this video informative do it a like button and subscribe to your channel we'll meet in the next video till then take care bye bye